What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to share with you why you can't pull high enough when you're doing a pull up to bring your chest or your sternum up to the bar. And this was recently inspired by Gabo Saturno and Adam of Gymnastic Strength who made a video together sharing four reasons why you can't do it and what to do about it. This was a decent video, but there were a few things that they surprisingly missed that I'm going to fill the gaps of and so I'm going to share with you what I think of their suggestions so we'll review those suggestions and then I'll tell you my suggestions on top of that as well. If you're not familiar with who I am by the way my name is Antranik. I make health and fitness videos a lot of bodyweight exercise tutorials and yoga videos so if you're not subscribed please do so now and let's talk about those suggestions. Their first suggestion was to just practice the actual movement with a stick and just basically grab a stick, pull it down until it touches your chest so you know what that feels like. You can also do this laying down and then again just doing that and it forces you to arch. This is a decent suggestion but it's not really gonna do much. Their second suggestion was to do ring rows with full range of motion bringing the rings to the chest actually touching the chest every time. So you want the elbows to go behind you as much as possible and that will help build the foundational strength for doing chest to bar pull-ups. This is a great suggestion and I recommend it as a foundational base for everybody. Their third suggestion was to do a static hold where you find a low bar and you bring your chest to the bar with your feet on the floor and you just hold that position for time until eventually you can actually lift your feet off. I think this is a pretty bad suggestion because if you can't hold that position normally it's not really going to translate. You're immediately going to just fall out of it. And their fourth suggestion is that you are skipping the progressions and you're going too fast and you're not actually strong enough to do it. And for that they recommend doing band assisted pull-ups with a two or three second pause at the top. This is a great suggestion. I think it's fine. It will definitely help. But now I'm going to go over the suggestions that I think will help you that will help even more. The first time you ever pull off a chest to bar pull up is not you doing it slowly. So if you're used to pulling up and down slowly, you need to change that up. Tempo is everything. You need to learn how to pull explosively. You need to train yourself to pull explosively. Pulling explosively is a skill in itself. If you always pull slowly, your body is going to get used to only being able to do that. And when you actually want to pull up fast, you're going to find that you actually can't pull up that fast because that you've only been doing it slowly. The body adapts and it's very adaptable. So you need to train yourself that when you are pulling up, you want to pull as fast as possible while keeping good form because you're going to see that in the first rep you're going to be able to pull higher than usual right and then let's say you could do eight reps by the eighth rep you'll notice that you're not able to pull as high right so what we're going to do is we're going to exploit that fact. We are going to exploit the fact that you have the most range in the first couple of reps in a set in addition to using the fast tempo to get up there to help you get up there. And if you add a pause, that's great. So what do you do? I suggest you train this skill when you're fresh. So the pull-ups might be the first thing you do after you warm up and you do five to eight sets of just one to three reps okay and you stop whenever you feel if you feel like uh, on your third rep you're already losing range just do two reps okay so the point is all you're doing is you're training an explosive pull-up and you'll find 
that just after a few sessions, you're going to be able to not only pull faster, but pull a lot higher. Now, the next thing you must ensure you're pulling the shoulders down away from the ears at the start of every pull up. If your shoulders are shrugged up and you try to do a pull up, you will not even get your chin over the bar. So a lot of people do this and they can and they do that. They barely get their chin over the bar. So when you're hanging and you're shrugged up, make sure before you bend any elbows, you shrug the shoulders down. This is called the scapular pull and then pull your hands down. I go over this in all my pull up related videos and I've talked about this extensively. So you're probably aware of it, but just to make sure that the foundation of that is there to help keep your shoulders naturally down, aggressively put the pinky and ring fingers over the bar more. If you do that, you will naturally set you in that proper strong position even when you're just hanging and your shoulders actually won't want to passively go up if you aggressively put your pinky and ring fingers over the bar so it's just it's not a false grip but it's an aggressive hold like that another thing with the grip that might help you is instead of hooking the thumb under try just putting the thumb over the bar and you might find that you can eke out a little more range and that is something you can experiment with try that out so tempo pull explosively do it when you're fresh do very few reps and many sets resting as much as necessary and make sure you're doing a scapular pull and experiment with your grip position this in addition to the couple suggestions that Gabo Saturno had recommended, namely make sure your ring rows are good. And you can also try band assisted pull-ups with a pause at the top as well. Those are pretty good suggestions. If you do all of these things, you will definitely be pulling as high as possible that you have ever done before. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, <laughs> or any advice you want to share of how you got yourself to pull up higher, please share them in the comments below. I look forward to reading your comments. And if you're not subscribed, please do so now and hit the bell button so that you will get notifications on my latest videos. And remember to give this video a nice thumbs up and I thank you for watching. Have a great day, everyone.